So now spring is literally right around the corner. The evenings are getting lighter and we can ride later on. It's nearly five o'clock and as you can see, I'm tacking up to ride. With everything that's been going on with Billy's colic, like that whole saga, that took quite a lot out of me emotionally, physically. I've just not been in the mood to ride. So I've literally ridden him twice, maybe three times since like January, which is obviously not good. We don't want to neglect poor McAllister. He's not looking too bad, but um, he's definitely looked better. He's lost a little bit of muscle, put on a little bit of weight, but we'll wait to see what he says about me when I get on board. I'm sure he'll have similar, similar gripes. As it's the last hunt meet of the season on Saturday, I do want to go to it and it is Thursday today. So I'm going to just get on him, see, see where his fitness is at and then make a decision as to whether I go at all on Saturday or whether I just do like an hour, you know, maybe he'll surprise me. Maybe he's as fit as a fiddle still. He has been turned out like 24 seven, so he won't be completely unfit, but at the same time, he's definitely not going to be hunting fit which is fine, it's fine. I'm wearing my new Rydale gilet, which maybe as it gets darker and as the, the sunlight goes in, you'll see the reflectiveness of it, it's so reflective. I'm also wearing Rydale jodhpurs or breeches, I haven't called them jodhpurs for years, that was weird. So yeah, we're pretty much head to toe Rydale, apart from the jumper and the top I've got on underneath, which I believe are both very, very old H&M. Like you can kind of see how reflective it is. Oh my goodness, my dog's just come back with a rabbit in his mouth. Half a rabbit. Otis, that's so as the evenings are getting lighter and brighter and we're heading into spring, like I've definitely got no excuses not to ride. Have my baby. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. Ignore my hair. I don't know what I don't know what it's doing. Is it? Oh, I don't think I've ever actually felt this horse have his back up. He just feels a little bit like he could explode, but then also it's McAllister. He doesn't do that sort of thing. He likes to have a very chilled life. So although his back is up and he does feel very fresh, for him, that's just like sitting on a slightly rocky armchair. What I'm trying to say is, although he is fresh, he's still a Dobbin. Aren't you Kelly? <laughs> he actually feels like he's on springs. I'm gonna ask him for a nice, little trot now but i don't know if there's any point i might as well just canter him hang on let me shorten the reins because like i have schooled him for two years trying to get him to feel this energetic and all i need to do is have a month off like i've cracked the code guys like, sorted he's had a very nice long warm-up so i think it's time for a canter Boys. You always know it was a good counter when you're crying by the end of it. I actually always cry when I'm having the time of my life. I'm a very emotional person. Hey, we're just walking. Just walking. I'm pleasantly surprised with that. He's definitely lost fitness, but I think by anyone's standards, that's still a relatively fit horse. 
and I think he'd be fine to go hunting for an hour or two. I won't do any more than that with him. I'm not going to stay out all day, obviously. That would be hugely irresponsible. I think that was pretty good. Do you really like? He's so cute. He's such a baby. 